Hello, this is MakerJ101, and here's something quick I just um, put together. This is called a Marx generator, and it uses a bunch of capacitors and a bunch of resistors, and it's really relatively simple. So the way it works is basically you have high voltage, um, that's somewhat high voltage, and it basically makes a um, pulse of really, really high voltage. So it basically multiplies the voltage, and it does that very simply. So these are all um, supposed to be one mega ohm resistors on each side. I didn't have one mega ohm. I just was using what I had. These are 2.4 mega ohm resistors. So I've two connected in parallel the whole way up there. So each one is about 1. Point, or 1.2 mega ohms. So it's pretty close to what you're supposed to have. So what parts I had, I had a bunch of these um, capacitors. I bought them a while ago. I thought they were um, uh, better than they really are, but they're, they're four um, kilo kilovolts. 0, 0.000 um, microfarad or three microfarads, so they're really small amount of capacitance. Um, so I mean they're not that great, but um, they're film capacitors. But my resistors, the main problem is my resistors are not made for high enough voltage. So when it gets um, when the capacitor charges up, the arc jumps across the resistor instead. So the way this works is. You have your high voltage supply connected across here, so let's say you have, um, uh, I don't know, 2 kV here. So 2 kV charges up all the capacitors in parallel, so all the capacitors charge up to 2 kV and it slowly um, approaches the voltage that the um, arc gap is set for, the spark gaps. So once it gets to that voltage, one triggers and they all kind of trigger and you get a, basically, the capacitors are then connected in um, series instead because of the arc. It basically doesn't have much resistance where the arc is. Once the arc is um, struck across one of these, you have the power that can just go through one capacitor and it just keeps going. So you have all of them connected in series, essentially. So then if these are all um, charged up to 2 kV, then you'd have approximately like... Um, I have 8 here, so that'd be like 16 kV minus the um, the loss for the gaps. But you have, basically multiplies the voltage. So, it's a pretty ingenious little circuit. doesn't use very much um, circuitry or anything. Um, and I'm just running it with a flyback transformer. And I tried my ZVS driver, but that didn't work very well. So I'm just using one MOSFET and my little 5-5 little f uh, timer circuit running off 12 volts. So, I'll show it to you here. It doesn't work that great because, again, the resistors are not made for high enough voltage. So we have a nice little arc there, spark it rather. So now if I put that too far away, you can see it's jumping across the resistors. And whoop, Now that one's not. Yeah, you can see there. That one's sparking. So, so yeah, um, basically then it kind of arcs in the wrong place and it just doesn't work. So I need to somehow make those resistors higher voltage. So either connect a whole bunch in um, series and parallel, that might work. Um, well, as you guys know how I don't like to buy things, I'd rather build things than buy things, I uh, made my own high voltage resistors. Just some hot glue. Works pretty good. Much better performance now. So just put lots of hot glue all, all around the resistors and I've got tons better performance. So here we go. Look at that. Real nice. That's probably about... Three and a half inches. About... Six centimeters. So. I don't know. Maybe I should make more. Make it... Alright, so now I have a whole bunch of um, 1.2 mega ohm high voltage resistors. So just covered the resistors in a bunch of hot glue, and this is working a lot better than just trying to smear it on the resistors while when they're already on. So just take two resistors, glue them together, and put lots of hot glue on them. So now I got to make the second stage or the second one. I tried connecting two um, capacitors up in um, parallel to get more current, but it didn't really work that well. So yeah, I'm just gonna make it longer so I get a higher voltage because it'll be awesome. Alright, so I've doubled it. I added eight more capacitors. Now I have 16 total. And I actually have the um, the high voltage supply um, connected in the middle instead of at the end. 
but it really doesn't matter because the resistance of those one um, mega ohm resistors, or 1.2 in my case, um, they really, it's minimal resistance compared to the voltage, so you really don't have very much voltage, or um, yeah, voltage drop when it goes through, so it doesn't, it seems to, does seem to have a little bit better performance in the middle than at the end, I can get 7 inches versus 6 inches, so yeah. Um, I'm using a flyback, of course, and I have a diode here just from a, a microwave oven, and I have a different circuit now. This is a my 5.5 timer, and then that goes into a um, op amp, and I'm getting a uh, it's basically a pulse width modulation circuit. So, and then I am using two MOSFETs from my CVS driver, so it's actually isolated from the normal CVS driver. So it's not ZVS driver circuit. Um, so yeah. Um, well, let's give it a test. Yeah, sometimes it likes to arc other places too. It's kind of scary though. But it's not that dangerous because I actually did get shocked by it. I was holding uh, this screwdriver, probe adjusting some of them. Actually, when it was only one stage or one, um, only eight capacitors, I was holding a screwdriver like this and it shocked me. It didn't really hurt that much. It just felt like a big static shock. So these capacitors are relatively harmless. They're pretty small. So, yeah. So I think I should expand it, but we'll save that for another video. That's about it. Thanks for watching.